Alright guys, I changed the, the major thing you probably noticed is the pump and reservoir. The pump is a PMP450S, that's how um, Coolance brands it. It's a uh, 17 liter per minute at 12 volts and at 24 volts it runs at about 23 liters per minute. Right now I'm just running it at 12 volts because it's quiet and it's getting me good temps and I'm, ha I'm completely happy with it at 12 volts. Uh, I'm not sure if it's louder at 24 volts. Um, eventually I'll probably run it at, tw at 24 volts just to see. It uses a 80 millimeter outer diameter by 200 millimeter reservoir which is right here. Um, in total it holds 770 milliliters which is a massive amount of fluid. Um, the total amount of coolant in the actual system is around 1400 milliliters. So I had two bottles of uh, coolant, coolant which are 700 milliliters a piece and I pretty much used all of them, you know, both of them completely. Um, it was really nice when I was actually filling the system. I just filled this thing up um, and by the time I got to the bottom it was already all the way through the loop. So I didn't have to uh, keep turning the uh, slave power supply on and off. It was uh, real easy. Um, the bubbles weren't a problem. The bubbles got out in like a half hour. So I'm getting pretty good flow and yeah. Previously I was using a what's it's a Coolance RP985 which is actually a uh, Bay Res pump combo. I honestly am never going to go back to using anything that's a Bay a Bay pump or anything because they're just, as, you know, from my experience with that one, you know, it might just be that one. I might have just got a bad one, but it was loud. I mean, I had to run it on its lowest setting to, um, just so it wasn't like making this annoying humming noise. The most annoying humming noise you could even imagine. There was really nothing you could do about it. And, you know, I like having a quiet system and it was, it was loud enough that it would, you could hear it over the fans. Um, they also, for aesthetics, I mean, when you have a bay, uh, reservoir, you know, you have to leave a little room so that you can pull it out, you know, uh, about an inch in order to uh, fill it. So then you have to have tubing that, you know, you can't do anything like this with it because it has to be able to move, which is a complete pain, you know. And, you know, they can only hold so much liquid, so it's difficult to uh, um, fill it, bleed it, everything. It's, it's just more difficult. Um, you know, I originally got it because I was a little bit overwhelmed by all the parts that, um, that go with these, these, um, cylindrical pump res combos, but, um, I just called coolants and, and, uh, talked to them on the phone, double checked to make sure I had everything and it was really easy. You know, all you have to do is you buy the pump and then you buy the base and then I had to get an adapter for the bigger, um, cylinder and then just the top and then you're done and it all screws together really easy you just gotta watch your o-rings and make sure they're all in there and make sure they're the right ones and then you're good to go um i think it looks way better you know the, the thing is silent um the only time i ever heard it was in the beginning when it was still getting air through the system but there's no humming or any noise like that so i mean that was just huge for me uh, moving on, I'm using a lot of 90 degree fittings. I'm using a lot of angled fittings in general. So all up in here, these this is a 90 degree fitting with an extension on it. These are 45s with extensions, 45s. Um, this is actually a 60, I believe. These are all 45s. Um, what I was going for was I was trying to, number one, not have any, you know, not have an overwhelming amount of tubing. I just wanted the you know the smallest actually the smallest amount of tubing I could do you know I like I wanted to do all these straight lines here so everything looks really neat um, I ended up doing a little bit of these curves right here but I think it looks really good um, I was trying to I was trying to actually try to make these line up but then I had these big long things sticking out look dumb so I just did that I think that that looks it turned out really well so when I did it I bought you know I had a lot of fittings from before and I bought a lot of extra fittings just so that I had, you know, complete freedom. I wasn't being held back by fittings. You know, the good thing about they're expensive when you buy them, but they last forever. They're not going anywhere. You know, as long as you're careful when you unscrew them and don't scratch them up real bad, then, you know, you always have them. 
So I got extras and you know when I want to reconfigure this loop I know I'll have enough to do whatever the hell I want to do. And if I do have to buy more it won't be a big deal because it'll only be a small amount. I mean there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to use, you know, tons and tons, like tons more fittings than I already have. Also I changed the um, um, video cards from a serial configuration to a parallel configuration. So if you don't already know, a serial configuration is where the fluid comes down, it goes into the top video card, and then down, and then into the second video card, and out. Whereas the, when you have it in a parallel configuration, it actually comes down and hits both cards at the same time, and then back out. Um, that it, it helps um, keep the flow going, it's, it doesn't restrict it as much because VGA, or, uh, VGA blocks are kind of restrictive. And it's a little bit harder on the pump and also I think that it just looks a lot better you know I think it's a lot more symmetrical with the two right there and then it going out and then I also had this um, short connection whereas before if I had it in serial I would have to have this go all the way over here so I think it looks better and it's given me great temperatures um, on battlefield um, three uh, highest settings everything maxed out uh, antrostop antroscopic filtering all the way up um, these things don't break 40C. So, yeah, real great, you know, great temperatures. You know, it's working fantastically. The uh, extensions I use, which I was talking about earlier, are these, these are actually uh, Bits Power extensions. Um, the, the ones I'm actually using in here are 15 millimeters, 20 millimeters, 25 millimeters, and 50 millimeters. Um, what I did was I bought a bunch of extensions. I didn't know exactly what I would need. So I just spent like, you know, a little bit of extra money and bought a, a huge assortment of them. And um, it worked out really well. You know, I got to do exactly what I wanted to do. Everything fit perfectly. And um, I think that they go really well with the coolants fittings. You know, coolants doesn't really make anything like this. I wish they would, but um, yeah, those helped a massive amount. Especially with what I was trying to achieve with these straight lines and stuff. Those, that wouldn't be possible without those. I also uh, had to change out the memory, so it's Corsair just Dominator um, at 2133. I got 16 gigs of it. Um, this RAM block is by Bits Power. I think I already said that, but um, it looks. I think it looks great. Um, it really uh, adds to the build. You know, it's not really necessary. The RAM stays pretty cool you know RAM doesn't really get all that hot but I think aesthetically you know it really adds a lot to the um, water cooling system in the build itself um, I think you know because otherwise it would just be this over to this and then down you know this makes it look more complex and it just gives it a real you know cool look I really like how it turned out um, you know I was a little worried initially about it because I thought that maybe you know, when you make a water cooling loop, generally they say that you want the first block to be hit to be the um, CPU block because they're designed to get the highest amount of pressure. They perform better when they have high pressure and um, these kind of restrict flow a little bit. But I'm getting good temperatures on the CPU. I'm not a big CPU um, guy. I'm more video card overclocker. Um, I like, you know, I have a pretty high overclock on the uh, 2600K. It's up at uh, 4.5 gigahertz, so I mean that's good enough for everything I'm doing. Um, I think it looks much better, you know, if I had to run this tube over this or, you know, under here and up, you know, I think it would look kind of weird and then back to this and then out and then up there, you know. I think it looks much better with these short little connections, boom, 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 and out. Um, my temperature is still good with it. I'm running it at... at full load on a with prime running it's at about 55 degrees so at 4.5 gigahertz I think that's a great temp um, no problems there um, also I changed out the radiators I'm using a uh, the top radiator is an AX uh, 480 and the bottom is a AX 240 those are both XSPC radiators. Um, I was initially going to use my coolants radiator in the bottom because I already had a 240 but those are really high FPI uh, radiators which is great for performance but it's just terrible for noise. You need a lot of uh, static pressure to push through those 
that tight, you know, the small spaces between the fins, and it creates a lot of noise. Um, so if you if you're in a confined space and you can't use much rate much radiator space, I highly recommend using coolants radiators with uh, the high FPI because those work really well. Um, but they are loud, so be ready for that. And you know what I wanted to do with this build is have you know an overkill amount of radiator so that I could run the fans at a lower speed so the system would be quieter without compromising you know the temperatures as much. So I really achieved that I think and. Um, a cool thing about the AX series XSPC radiator, radiators is that you can actually remove the insides of them and paint the um, shell of the radiator whatever color you want. So I thought that was really cool. Obviously I didn't do that, but I mean eventually maybe I will want to do that. Um, I really want to do a white build in the future, so hopefully you know that will come in handy. So uh, moving on, I'm going to talk about the air cooling. Thank <laughs> you.